day nine of season for nonviolence. It is useless to dream of reforming society without a corresponding deep change in our inner lives. M.K. Gandhi writes, I am but a poor struggling soul yearning to be wholly good, wholly truthful, and wholly nonviolent in thought, word, and deed, but ever failing to reach the ideal, which I know to be true. It is a painful climb but each step upwards makes me feel stronger and fit for the next." End of quote. The path of nonviolence is the path of personal healing. Gandhi is reminding us that being wholly good, wholly truthful, and wholly nonviolent is a goal and a path. It is not, however, our present reality. Whatever work done on the outside is always doomed to failure if we are not simultaneously doing the work on the inside. How often in the past have many of us become involved in movements dedicated to forms of peace, only to see it degenerate in spates of juvenile rage at stalled progress, resistance, or disagreement? Such a consciousness not only destroys all the work done, it violates the original intention of peace. Gandhi also reminds us not to despair, even when the climb up to that higher consciousness is painful. When we focus on doing both the inner and the outer work of nonviolence, we will always make progress toward the ideal, which we have not yet achieved. Each step we take will allow us to feel more accepting, more loving, and more able to think and act in a manner that is better, more truthful, and more nonviolent. The affirmative practice is, today, I will meditate on how my thoughts, words, and deeds contradict my desire for nonviolence. Today, I will observe my thoughts, words, and deeds, and where they are violent, I will find my place of fear that caused them, beginning the process of healing. This is the path to nonviolence. Let peace begin with you.